Hello and welcome back to Bad's Front News. I just want to start by saying sorry for how long it's taken me to get around to recording this. The reason for this being that the seal on my windows in my bedroom is broken. And as I live next to a main road, this means that you guys would be able to hear cars going past throughout the entire video. So instead I abstained from recording as long as possible so I could bring you a video with higher quality and one where I would be a bit more cheerful. Anyways, now onto the news. Firstly, DICE have said that EA are clever enough to avoid cookie cutter games. Secondly, job listings show us that EA Canada are hiring to possibly make a Star Wars open world game. Thirdly, Battlefront could have some production problems with DICE, as DICE announced that all future projects are on hold to fix bugs and other problems with Battlefield 4. And finally, in an interview with The Guardian, Patrick Soderlund divulged information about how DICE viewed taking on the Battlefront series. So DICE have said that EA are clever enough to avoid cookie cutter games. This was said in an interview with official Xbox magazine. Patrick Bauck discussed EA's mindset on starting new projects. He started by saying, We have a tendency to, you could call it being very ambitious, or you could call it overscoping. When you want to do everything and you start everything, but you just can't finish everything. So this is Patrick saying that DICE tend to be very ambitious with new projects, but they usually cannot complete all of the additions that they plan. He continues saying, If we were clever from a business perspective, we would change quite a lot. So I think the great thing with how EA is treating DICE is that they see DICE as a growing thing. You want that feeling, that mindset to spread within EA. So here he says that EA do not just view DICE as a static company, which never changes, instead they see them as an adapting and growing company. He also implies that DICE are not very clever from a business perspective. Lastly, Patrick Bach says that he doesn't want DICE to be business oriented all of the time, otherwise they will start to create cookie cutter games. I see this as good news as it means that DICE are trying to think of something that won't just be generic. So overall good news for the Battlefront IP. Now onto our next piece of news, EA Canada job listings show that they could possibly be working on a Star Wars open world game. The job listing asks for a developer to work on a major, new, next-gen open world action game. As EA Canada is widely considered to be the third of EA's game studios working on the future Star Wars titles for 10 years, it is possible that EA Canada will be making a Star Wars open world game. Also recently when Disney acquired LucasArts, one of their first orders of business was to cancel Star Wars 1313, so maybe they cancelled it in anticipation of passing it off to a new developer. Hopefully there is going to be a Star Wars open world game, this would be great for Battlefront as it adds more story and plot lines for DICE devs to call upon and use in the next Battlefront. Now for the next piece of news, we go over why Battlefront might be slightly delayed due to Battlefield 4 issues, and why I think that despite DICE postponing Battlefront production, this will not affect Battlefront. The news comes from an IGN article, basically saying that the developer DICE which recently released Battlefield 4, a game which has received much criticism for some of the problems and bugs it poses to users, has decided to suspend all future projects and expansions, and focus all development teams on finalising Battlefield 4, and fixing the bugs still present in the game. This means that Battlefront is not currently being developed by DICE, they have suspended all development on future titles and expansions, so depending on how long this lasts and how long it takes them to fix Battlefield 4, then it could have an impact on Battlefront's eventual release, and the overall quality of the game. This is definitely some disturbing news, however I don't think that this will affect Battlefront. I believe this as Battlefront has not been given a definitive release date, meaning they can extend it if needs be, and the DICE devs can always go into crunch time to ensure the game will release as planned. Although it's not ideal, as a player of Battlefield 4 I do have to agree that it's necessary. Battlefield 4, despite being a fantastic game, is only a fantastic game when it's working. Now onto our final piece of news. The Guardian hosted an interview with Patrick Soderlund. They asked him many questions, all unrelated to Battlefront, and mostly about DICE's latest release, Battlefield 4. Towards the end of the interview, however, The Guardian specifically asked about Battlefront. They questioned, Now that EA DICE has begun development, has an exciting prospect suddenly turned into a hugely daunting one? Star Wars has quite a few keen admirers. Patrick Soderlund responded with, We need to be humble. The idea of doing it is really cool, but then it's, Uh-oh, how do we do this? We have to treat the brand with respect, but then put our personal flavour on it. That's the only way that makes sense to us. I think we're there now. The team knows exactly what it's doing. And I can tell you that some of the things you'll see, they're mind-blowing. But it took a while. It was almost as though we did have to sit down and say, Oh shit, how do we treat this with the respect that it deserves? And to be very blunt, how do we not screw it up? So DICE are being very humble and careful with the Battlefront IP, especially worrying about how not to screw it up. This is a good thing as it means that DICE are being cautious with Battlefront, instead of just rehashing the original and hoping for the best. The Guardian then asked, how did you get past that? As this part is considerably longer, I will summarise it. So this reveals that Battlefront is now in full production, and that the relationship within DICE about making Battlefront is getting stronger. They also say that they want to make Battlefront unique, and not to follow some of the previous attempts to make great games from a movie licence. Attempts that failed. So what do you guys think about this? Do you think DICE will succeed in making this? Or do you think they'll just make another movie rehash of a game? I'm afraid that's all of the news today. If you enjoyed the video, a like is very much appreciated. 
Also, if you guys want the latest news on Titanfall, then check out my friend's channel. His link is in the description below and on screen now. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next update.